It's been a while since I've dived into the menu structure and the organ and the operation of the Zoom H6. But the other day, one of my guitar forum buddies mentioned that he was having trouble deleting a file on his H6 that he had just gotten. And the documentation and other online resources didn't help much. He asked me if I could give him a clue. And when I looked at the situation, I agreed with him that it was pretty tricky, really, to figure out exactly all the steps needed to delete a single file. Let's start with the first important thing to know about the Zoom H6. A project is a file. You, your disk will be organized into folders. As soon as you format the disk for this device, you'll get those folders lined up and your files go into those folders and they're called projects. Zoom 0001 is the project that will be created in the default folder the first time you record, unless you select things to go in a different way. So let's start off by formatting the SD card in my Zoom H6 and we'll go from there. So menu, system though, what we want is US SD card, there we go. So SD card, then format, then yes, and it's not a quick process, is it? Then we have our uh, SD card set into the default fresh formatted condition. So we'll back out by pressing the menu once and go scrolling around. Now here's the, the project folder list. So select that and now you have 10 folders that are created automatically for you. If we go back to the recording screen, we can see that folder 01 is the default folder and it's currently empty. And what that means is the first time we hit record, we'll create Zoom 0001 in folder 1. So we'll do that. This is our first uh, recording and it's going to create Zoom 0001 in folder 01. And there you go. The current folder is 1 and the current project is Zoom 0001, which means that the next time we record, unless we make a change, we'll be in folder 1 and we'll create Zoom 0002. Let's watch that. There we go. We're creating Zoom 0002. And when we stop recording, that becomes the current project in the current folder. So let's look at the, at the quickest, easiest deletion. We're going to delete the last file we created. We're not going to think about selecting any other project equal file. We're just going to delete Zoom 0002, the last one we created. So we start with the menu button, scroll until we get to the project menu and hit push enter to go into that and back up. You see, I went backwards to jump to trash and trash is your delete tool. So let's press enter on that. Now it says delete or delete all projects. That means all the projects in the current folder. Delete all projects in this folder, are you sure? Let's not delete all the projects in this folder just this once. We're only going to delete a single project. That is to say, a single file. So hit delete. Delete this project. Now there's no... It, it would be nice at this point if they could tell us what this project is. But we know that it's the last one we recorded. In this case, folder 1. Zoom 0002. So we'll say yes. Hit enter on that. And the project is deleted. We could back out to get to the uh, navigate through the uh, options and go back to folder list and go in there. And there's zoom 1, but not zoom 2. 
And if we back out to the record screen, we see we're in folder one, zoom one. Let's take a little sidetrack here and select a different folder. Say we had a second recording session. We wanted to keep all our files together over here in folder one for our first session. We're going to go to a new folder. We'll go to folder two for our next recording. So let's go into menu, project list, go down to folder two. Now, how do we make folder two the default folder? Believe me, that that required me to actually read the screen. There it is right there. Hit record and that will select this current folder. So we hit the red record button. And now folder two is the default folder. It's currently empty. Let's record something into folder two. We press the record button and it starts creating zoom 0001 in folder two. And each time we start a new recording, until we change the folder destination, we'll increment the current highest folder number. So let's uh, record again. We're going to record Zoom 0002 in folder 2. Let's see if we can delete Zoom 0001 out of folder 2. I think this is the problem that my uh, guitar forum buddy ran into was understanding how to choose the file that's going to be deleted. So currently the default file is zoom 0002 in folder 2. We need to change that. So here we are in the project list. There's folder 2. So we go into folder 2. Let's go back to zoom 001, 0001. Press enter on that. That starts the playback of it, and then we stop that. Now that's the current file, the current default file. So if we press project, I mean, press menu and go down to the project menu, hit enter on that, back up one, and we're at trash, hit trash. We can either delete all the projects in the current folder, folder 002, folder 02, or we can delete the current file. So we're going to say delete this project, which is the same as a file. Are you sure? Yes, it took us all night to get here, so yes. Done, good, good job. If we go back to recording now. The second file, the one we didn't delete, is the default file in folder 2. So our next recording will be Zoom 0003. Let's see what happened. There it is, and that's the one we're going to create. So we're always going to go one higher than the highest folder, I mean project, in the current folder. That's all there is to it. Okay, I think we've gone through all the steps to select folders select projects and delete projects in the Zoom H6. And uh, hopefully you found that useful if you get yourself into a situation where you need to clean up your disk.